Hi everyone, my name is Carly. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my channel is all about living victoriously in the midst of disease. So if you have a disease or a chronic illness, you have come to the right place. I want to give you some hope today. So I just want to share with you guys a little bit about my journey in multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed in January of 2015. Uh, prior to that, I had had like a couple of spurts that looking back on it now, I totally see that was my multiple sclerosis, like showing signs that I had it. But back then I had no idea and neither did the doctors. Like I remember one particular time my feet went numb and tingly for like a week and it felt like you know like when you sleep on your arm and your arm falls asleep like that's what it felt like just like numb and tingly and so for like a week that was happening and I went to the doctor and around that time I had just gotten over a cold and the doctor told me um, it's probably a reaction to the medication and I could tell like everyone thought I was crazy like my husband didn't believe me the doctor was like uh, you know they didn't really take it seriously but numbness and tingling is actually a symptom of multiple sclerosis. So looking back, that was probably my first sign. So fast forward a year later in 2015, um, it was January, I started going blind in my left eye. And like at first it was like just kind of subtle like blurriness in my eye and I was just like, uh, this is really weird, I can't see a lot out of my eye and I just thought I had gotten like a hair stuck in or, or something and like the more and more I um, just kind of held off and I was looking in my eye I'm like oh my gosh do I have anything where's the hair um, but the more and more I held off going to the doctor the worse it got and so like a week went by and by the end of the week I literally could not see like my finger like I would hold my finger up and look at it and like I could kind of see like the around the outer edge of my eye like colors but the center of my eye was just completely blurry and I remember as this was happening like I felt really really scared I'm like what is going on with me and we didn't have money so we didn't want to go to the doctor we had health insurance that like covered nothing so I was like putting it off putting it off and at church I went to church and my pastor's wife at the time told me Carly, God owns a thousand cattle on the hill. He can provide financially for you, but you only have one eye. Well, two eyes. So you need to go get this checked out. So long story short, I went to the, um, I actually went straight to an ophthalmologist. I skipped the, um, the optometrist or op whatever the, the lower guy is. I skipped him all together and just went to the head honcho and he was like, well, I definitely see something is impeding your vision, but I don't know what it is, so I'm going to schedule an MRI. And I remember when he said that, I thought, wow, this must be serious, like an MRI. And like, you know, I was doing online research and like people were like telling me what it could be and someone had said, I don't want to freak you out, but this sounds like signs of multiple sclerosis. And so when... Um, I went, I had the MRI done, and when the doctor called me and he got the results back, he said, hey, I want to see you back. They got the results back in, and I asked him, I remember asking him, is it bad? He said, well, no, we just want to see you back in. And I knew, like my heart sank because I knew, like it was bad news. And so I remember I was at work when I got the phone call, and I was just bawling like I was so scared you guys and like you know no one wants to hear new scary news like that about their health because in my mind my mind was just racing I thought like I have cancer like I'm gonna die like this is bad I'm blind you know and it was so like such a feeling of fear like I don't even know you would not know unless you had been there like you could be like oh yeah that would have sucked but like unless you've lived through that fearful moment when you get that diagnosis or you get bad news about your health 
you have no idea what those people are going through. And I want to encourage you if you're at that point in your life and you've just gotten really scary news, to hold on to the end of this video because I want to tell you how God um, helped me through this time. So I went back, he told me, you know, these are kind of signs of multiple sclerosis, but I'm going to send you to a neurologist to just confirm um, the results of this MRI and to confirm what I'm seeing. So I went to a neurologist and right away he was like, there's a 95% chance you have multiple sclerosis just based on A, your optic neuritis and B, these MRI results It says right here, like you have several lesions on your brain. And so with that being said, like he's like, you know, bam, hit me with this news, like it is multiple sclerosis and here's this medication, I want you to like start signing this paperwork to get put on this medication and you guys, it was really, really, really scary for me and like I felt so overwhelmed, like I felt like I had just heard like the worst news that I could ever hear in my life and then he was throwing medicine at me. And that was really hurtful because I had no idea what this disease was, I had no idea what the medication was and I said, you know what, I'm going to hold off on this medication. He also wanted to order more tests for me, and but he wanted to get the ball rolling on the medication. And my husband and I left that place and we said, you know what, we're not going to, to go back to that guy. We didn't like the way he was treating me, we didn't like that he pushed medication right away and so we went to another neurologist and that neurologist, you know, <laughs> James and I had in the meantime been doing lots of research on medication and I want to encourage you if you're on medication for your, your MS you're an individual that's your choice that is your um, your thing and if God put that on your heart to be on medicine that that's what you need to do but for me the more I researched the medicine and the side effects to the medicine the, the more I was like why the heck am I gonna take this like the side effects are really bad and there, it's still there's no cure for multiple sclerosis so I started diving into like tons of research and I got online and I um, researched YouTube videos on multiple sclerosis and you know what you guys, every single video I came across was someone out there who was crying, who couldn't talk, who lost their speech that day and I want to tell you that that does not have to be you. But everywhere I looked there was no hope. There was no YouTuber that said, you know what, there is a cure. and. That was so like sad and devastating to me that there was this disease that I had that even if I took medication there was nothing that I could do to cure myself. And so at that point um, I saw another neurologist who really pushed the medication and James and I felt very strongly like we needed to stop pursuing uh, my disease and a healing for my disease through the medical fields and I basically got to a point where I was just so broken all I could do is say God you made my body you made me and I need to trust that you can heal me if it's your will and if it's not your will help me to learn to deal with this diagnosis and this disease and I was mad at him you guys, like I was so upset because I thought my life was ruined. I thought that my future was ruined, I thought that there was no hope. And so um, God took me to a verse and it said, you shall not die but live and proclaim the glory of the Lord. And that was after nights of me just on my knees, like Lord I need to hear a word from you, like am I gonna die, like is this disease gonna end up with me in a wheelchair? And God was just comforting my heart saying, no, you're not going to die, you're going to live and I'm going to I'm gonna be a, bo a voice through you of hope to people who desperately need it, who are sick, who have um, an autoimmune disease and I'm going to give you the tools to practically help with your autoimmune disease. And um, you guys, he did. I found a lady, her name's Dr. Terry Walsh and I am going to link her information down below. It's a book called The Walls Protocol and it talks about how changing your diet and healing your gut from the inside out can actually be medication. And this lady, she was in a wheelchair, her MS was bad you guys, and she ended up getting out of her wheelchair 
and using a cane, you know, like she was like by changing her diet and fueling her body with the right food, like she reversed the signs of her multiple sclerosis because disease feeds off of sugar. It feeds off of um, these things that we're putting into our body and when you have a leaky gut, it's called the leaky gut syndrome, you can look that up. It's um, basically getting into your bloodstream and it's it's causing your disease to flare up, it's causing it to get worse, so you need to heal your gut. Um, I will do whole separate videos on that, but I'm going to leave you with something to give you hope today if you feel very hopeless in your disease. And that is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. It says, He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are in trouble, we will be able to give them the same comfort that God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with His comfort through Christ. Um, so that is what I want to leave you guys with. If you're suffering with a disease, know that in turn, the comfort God gives you, which he will comfort you, you will be able to be a comfort and a blessing to others. And this life is not about us. It's about God and his kingdom. So whatever you're going through, it's for a purpose, whether or not it's to help someone, to reach someone else, or to help you to seek God more and to see God. And that is the greatest reward in this life, guys. It may not feel like it now, but it is. If you don't know the Lord, I'm going to pray for you really fast. Dear Lord, I just pray for my brother and sister in Christ. I just pray that if they don't know you, Lord, that they would begin their journey today to search for you, to seek you, to find you. You say if you, um, if we search for you, Lord, you will find us, Lord, and we will find you if we seek for you and search with you with our whole hearts. So I pray that you would help them to begin this journey, Lord. Help them to realize their, their sin and their need for a Savior and for someone to give them that hope. You are that hope, Lord. You are our eternal hope in glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And guys, if you want to know more about starting a relationship with Jesus Christ, uh, please message me. You don't have to comment in the um, comments below. I'll leave my email address and you can reach out to me and I will help you along your journey. I hope this video has blessed and encouraged some of you. If you like my channel, please subscribe and give this video a like and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.